Hey guys, DT Gaming. This is another video tutorial for Russian Fishing 4. In this video, we are going to talk about um, uh, rod types. And we are got some silver. So initially, you guys start off with 50 silver, if I'm, if I'm correct, of large 49, something like that. Anyways, you guys should um have your float rod and your your spinning rod okay this is the initial rod you start off with the telestick and the corona um fishing rod this is the float teles telescopic and the other one is a spinning rod the float rod is basically used for uh, using a float um, with the uh, um, with the hook and bait, and let's see. So when you're using a float rod, you just uh, basically um, use the plus or minus on the keyboard to adjust the depth that you want. Okay. Now, something I want to explain to you guys about the float. Uh, when you guys are basically get a bite, right? I'm just gonna do this demonstration. Okay. Now, you see how the boat is like lying on the side. It's to mean the the um the float is is um too high up. So I it mean it's it's um it's shallow. However, there is points there's uh, parts where the um float will actually fall on its side while it's in in the water this sometimes indicate that you got a fish on also that when you um look at the um in the water right sometimes your rod your your float will actually just uh stand up a little bit let me see if i can actually pull it up no oh, i can't all right when it's kind of floating like this, it's fine. When you get a bite, what you're gonna have to do all you have to do is just wait for the bite, and you're going to uh, use the left mouse button to set the hook and pull the fish out of the water. Um. Anyways, when the float goes under the water, that means the fish is on. Or if it kind of falls on its side, as explained, or when it floats up like that too, there's a fish on. Uh, so there's three ways to tell that you got a fish on the float. Um, the float will actually um, float upward, or it will sink down, or it will fall on its side. That's the three indications that you got a fish on. Okay, as for the spinning uh, reel. On this one, you can um, adjust the um, the brake. I would. On this one, you can adjust the reel speed by holding R and using the scroll to change the speed. And you can hold Shift. You can um, just cast normally. So you're going on it with the spinning, um, with the spinner, you want to do um, a straight reel uh, with the spinner. So just keep on reeling in that. Or when you want to do a normal cast, just hold the um, left mouse button to do a normal cast. You got to hold it for a bit till do a power cast okay now you can hold shift to do a, um, a, a fast reeling or let go and you can do a normal um, reel speed see also sometimes when you do stuff you get a notification down here where it shows re uh, tackle ready for casting you see how it showed up for um, speed up that's just basically a technique also
Um, and as for the the next rod, which we're gonna go buy right now. So over here at the shop, when you start off with the game, you should start with about 50 silver. Okay. So if you want to get a feeder rod, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna come down here, uh, click on feeders. And the first rod you're going to see is this uh, Sorrento. So you're going to click on this. And as you see that this has a low capacity of 4.6. This one down here is 4.6. Everything is the same. As you see, all the stats are the same. The only thing that's different is, is the, um, the length. This one is 3.2. This one is 3.8. And this one is 4.2. Um, so the longer the rod is the further you can cast the shorter the rod is the shorter your cast is going to be So it's up to you which one you want to buy. I would go ahead and Get um, Get this one right here Or Let's see hold on before we decide on that so 37 silver for the rod and as for the reel you basically going to be getting one of these the spark reel with the three kilogram so you're gonna buy this and as for the rod so that's um, that's 950 and you go back here to the feeder rod so that's uh, nine that's 41 that's almost the whole thing so go with the 37 okay get this the short rod okay there's a couple things you still gotta buy um, you're gonna come here to rigs under the bite alarm you're gonna click mechanical you're gonna get this one right here and as for the hooks you should always have hooks from um, your previous setup your uh, from your um, when you started out the game you get a few hooks so you can use those um, as for fishing line you should have fishing line as well um, and that's pretty much it so let's put our rod together so the Sorrento, you're going to click on the reel, put your new reel on, fishing line 3.1. Okay, now if you see here, the low capacity is 4.6, the fishing line is 3.1. So the weakest uh, point on our setup is the fishing line. So if you hook into a big fish, the only thing that's going to break is your line, not your rod or reel. Your bite indicator, click on that, put your bell on. Okay, the classic bottom sinker or feeder, this is required. So, um, you just gotta go here under the um, rig components. You wanna go to ba the um, bottom classic. You're gonna click on this and just buy that one. The 15 gram. Let's go back here and put that weight on. These are optional. You don't need that. Um, put your hook on. Um, don't really matter what you got. Just put any hook on there. Put bait on there. And now, when you use this, okay, there's new things to do with this rod here. There are, um, you can do the same thing you do with the spinning, uh, adjust your speed, um, friction brake is the scroll reel. Okay, difference with the, the, um, bottom fishing or reel, you know, you can, um, set a clip, so, and plus and minus, you can change a clip. What this will do will prevent you from casting so far, so when you, you cast it. 
if you do like a power cast, you can see that's going to stop dead. So let's uh, put it like about a 10. You're going to power cast. You see how it kind of just stops and just drops because it won't cast any further than 10 m meters. Now, with the feeder rod, you can actually set it down with the zero button on your keypad. This is what the bell's for. You see the bell right here? When you get a bite that was going to um to shake and start um you know making a sound like a jingle. So, we'll sit here and wait for a moment to see if we got a bite. You know, see what I'm talking about? I got a worm on, so it shouldn't take long to get a bite here. Okay, I'm going to pause the video until I get a bite. Okay, guys? Okay, so we got a bite. Okay, so you see the lines pulling. So the fish auto hooks itself. Now we're just waiting for the the, um, the bend and the jingle. That gives us a clue that there's a fish on. So we're going to grab the... Um, well, actually, it's... Make sure that it's connected to a hotkey. So you're going to click the one on the keyboard. You're going to pull up and you're going to control right click to set the hook. Okay. Another thing to know about feeder rods, right? So, if you have the money, I'll show you another thing that you could do with the feeder rod. Um, you're gonna go here, and over here it shows uh, feeders. You can click on classic here. Um, we'll just buy this one for now. Uh, grab this right here. It's a 30 gram, so be careful. It's kind of heavy. Um, we would go with that, but they don't have that. Um, let's see. Maybe it might have a different one here. That's 30. All right. We're going to go, um, we can buy this one, actually. This one's 10 grams. This one's kind of more or less weight. So we'll go ahead and buy that one. Um. Now the setup of, of um, you use a feeder. You gotta change the method here. Or actually, maybe you can still use it. Yeah, right here. So you're gonna click on where where the weight would be. You just click on that, and you can equip that. And that counts as weight. So if you see on the end of your your um, your rod, you can see it hanging there. So what that's for, when you have like ground bait made, you can actually go here where it shows as um, classic feed mix. You click on that, add any um, ground bait that you had made, like the crucian carp or roach, don't really matter. And you're gonna add that. So now if you look at the cage that you see the ground bait is inside. Okay. Now what that would do will help track the fish of that type that you got the ground bait for. Um, 
So, there are other rod types as well. There is um, Bolognese rod, match rods, spinning rods, casting rods, jerk rods, feeders, which you know, we know about the telestick and feeder rods and the spinning rods. The Bolognese rod is the same thing as for the float, except that one requires a reel for, with the float. Same thing with the match rod that has, um, can use a reel with the float. Casting rods are basically for like the low profile uh, reels here and classic bait casters or conventional reels. Anyways, I'll explain more on the other um, rods and reels here in another video. If you guys found the video helpful, please hit the like button. You guys want you guys to subscribe as well i appreciate the support thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video till then guys uh, bye